Hey, hey, so what's going on YouTube? Uh, first video, and we're already off to a terrible start. So I was driving around my Thunderbird last night because oh, my hair is all fucked up. I look like shit. I just got up. Made myself some eggs. But we're going to take you outside real quick. It's positively fucking brisk out. I'm going to have to censor that. As you can see, it's only like 10 degrees. So that Subi over there, that's mine. That needs a water pump. A Thunderbird. Oh, God. Uh, needs a lot. But starting first things first, I gotta pull it apart because I was letting off a lot of smoke after taking some fire picks last night with my boy. But I was letting off a lot of smoke. So I think the turbo went. So I'm gonna have to go through, figure out what's up with it. It's supposed to snow tomorrow and I have work tomorrow, so this ought to be fun. But yeah, we'll see what's going on. So yeah, I'll see y'all in a bit. Accidentally stopped recording, but this is like the third or fourth time I've had to come in here for something stupid. But it's a labor of love at this point. Cause I mean, oh. It looks like oil on top of the intercooler. And I gotta come down in here somewhere. Y'all are not gonna be able to see because I can't even see. Oh, I got it. Yeah, the intercooler bolts are gone. That's okay. She'll send. Well, she did send and then she broke. But that's not the point. Oh, uh, come on. Get, get, get in there. There we go. So basically, it's a labor of love for no fucking reason, because it's kind of a shitbox car, but, you know, sometimes you just love stuff so much that you do things that don't make sense. Oh, God, did that just break? Or did... No. Okay. And you think you break it, but you're not. It's cold, bro. Let me tell y'all, it is fucking cold. I'll update y'all when I get this more torn apart. All right, so I got my little top mount off at the cost of the uh, fucking thing there. I think I should be okay because it only goes to this vacuum line and there's only one vacuum line in there and then it's plugged off. So we should be okay, hopefully. So now, I'm probably going to pull my whole intake off, take the VAM, unplug it, and just undo this. Oh, that's good like that. I haven't really been in here yet. All I did was replace the air box. I didn't do none of this. None of this has been off. Oh, my God. This is sketch. Uh, but, yeah, here's the stock turbo. And I got another stock turbo, but in my bedroom which is a mess right now because I've just been hella busy with work and now I'm hella busy with my cars. But back here, I got a stock turbo in good condition. In the back seat of the Thunderbird, I got, this turbo is nice. It's got no shaft play or nothing. It's all, no shaft play, spins nice, you know, but I got a big one. I got a big T3, T4 hybrid, but, yeah this is this is my life fucking constantly breaking this thing and fixing it and going to work i mean last year i put it in a ditch a little bit while i was sliding around in the snow and i fixed it but this crack came back a little bit so i'm gonna have to do something about that but we'll get this thing sorted out i'm trying to start drifting with it trying to take it to a couple events and have a little bit of fun so, yeah, um, I'm going to continue to pull this thing apart, and I'll update y'all in another minute.
All right, so I got the nuts off of the turbo inlet housing thing, this thing, and surprisingly, this terrible looking hose came off in one piece, but this will definitely be getting replaced along with probably all of the vacuum lines, to be honest, at this point. So now, I gotta pull this off, and this part should be good to come off, and then... We'll start seeing about pulling the turbo and seeing how the shaft play is. And as you can see, there's, this is the, I've, I've been looking all over on YouTube. No one's done it. So this is the star, how to get to the stock turbo on a 87 or 88 turbo coupe. Uh, so yeah, we're getting there. It's literally just two nuts. They're both a 12 top and bottom here. Those are the first two nuts I've come across while doing this. And eventually we're going to get down in here and we're going to be pulling these. And hopefully though they don't fucking break. Because that, that, that would suck. If, <laughs> that would mean it's new turbo time. Like big turbo. Because I got a big turbo. But I wasn't going to boost this engine. I was going to get another engine out of a Ranger. And pull like a cam in it. Get forged rods and pistons. Forged crank. Go crazy big cam big turbo and just do do something a little little too much but we'll see because this is you know this is going so i just moved the car over there on the concrete pad it's going to be a build i'm going to be doing quite a bit to it it's going to be doing another full fluid change brakes again we're going big brakes uh water pump timing belt head gasket because why not? I mean, if you guys are interested in this build and other builds, because I got friends and we're all gonna be building cars because the season's coming up, uh, make sure to click like, click subscribe, follow me on Instagram for updates, 845 Speed Stars. I'll put it in the bio or the, the description down below. And uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys wanna see more good content, we're all gonna put good content on this channel. No clickbait ever. No clickbait. Uh, yeah, so uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video, which should be, this video should be up hopefully by Sunday, the 15th or 16th or whatever, 16th. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which hopefully should be up by next Sunday. Try to put out a video every Sunday. So I'll see y'all. Have a wonderful day, everyone.